<laughs> Good morning, Singapore. It's Glenn Angel, FD, and Sean. I, I just wanted to remind everyone to take your vitamin C, please. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's all. Every day. I take it every night. <laughs> also want to say a very good morning to Mr. Ricky Ong and his team at Holistic Way, JR Life Sciences. Good, good morning. morning, everybody. <laughs> and a very good morning to our superstar every Tuesday. It's Dr. Geraldine Tan from the Therapy Room. Yay. Good morning, good morning Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> so drama today. <laughs> you know me, la. Always He's dramatic a bit drama. every day. Every day. Every day. <laughs> My middle name is Drama. No? <laughs> I think drama so. Ong. Glenn Drama Ong. Yep. <laughs> okay, so uh, Jerry, this morning we will be talking about uh, body, body dysmorphic, dysmorphic disorder. Dysmorphic what disorder. What in the world is that? Yeah, it's so exciting, right? So I was thinking about what to talk about today. And then I was like fretting over, you know, the Chinese New Year, like goodies and everything. And, you know, this year is horrible because um, you have fewer people coming to visit or you visit <laughs> fewer people. So all the goodies that you buy goes inside your own stomach. Yeah. True. <laughs> yes. so, rather right. than talking about eating disorders, I thought I wanted to talk about... Uh, an, an, not lesser known sort of disorder. So BDD, body dysmorphic disorder, which does occur. So you know our teens, right? When when they are during, uh, you know, having some pimples, going through that whole hormonal stage, mm. they kind of scrutinize their faces, mm -hmm. but it's a face. Mm. So with people like these, with BDD, it is not a face. They really scrutinize each and every part uh, or rather a specific part of their body and they tell you that there's something wrong with it. But actually, there's nothing wrong with that part or, or, or when we look at it, we don't see anything. So you're saying it's a prolonged uh, uh, phase. We've there's all a... been through that phase and it was horrible. Mm. But yeah. <laughs> for these people, it seems like, an, 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 it never seems like it's, it's never ending. Yes, yes, wow. and they're so troubled by it. There's this obsessive preoccupation with it. And in fact, uh, BDD comes after OCD in my big manual. Oh, wow. yeah. So it is yeah. a mental yeah. illness then? It is a mental disorder that can be diagnosed. So yes. does it start mostly with teenagers and kids or can it also start with adults? It can start at any age, uh, but the vulnerable group can be the teens where um, they, they are more, uh, not obsessed, but more aware of their body. But doesn't this uh, lead to, and we've seen stories of this, of people who, who have, I guess it sounds like this condition, and then they start to go for, for, for surgery and, and all kinds of things, yeah. and then they end bulimic. up... They end up looking different. Terrible, to be honest. <laughs> well, is there well, anything wrong for people to go for, like, um, you know, <coughs> uh, aesthetic? Uh... No, obviously not. But when it, got, when it gets to a point where it completely changes you. When you say like, surgery, like, what do you mean? Like, plastic surgery. Like plastic surgery. Where there, there's a woman out there, uh, and, and she's been publicized a lot. She's called the cat woman. The cat woman, yes. Yes. And. and She's scary. She literally wants to make herself look like a cat. So she actually had her eyes pulled back, you know, to be cat eyes. And I think, I don't know if she put some whiskers in, but she did her nails but and everything. But that's different. Yeah, that's, that's different, right? That's not uh, because they think that they hate their body and they hate the way they no, look. No, that's probably yeah. not. No. They just no. love their cats too much. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That was a bit different. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah. okay back, yeah. To, back to surgery. Slightly different, but... Uh, FD is right. You know, one of the first few people Why that is it FD is always that? right. <laughs> he sounds so wrong, but then he's always right. Why? <laughs> because I'm older than you are. I've lived longer. Okay. okay. <laughs> he has wisdom. Therefore, he we is wow. right. <laughs> we, we, we need to, you know, give him that call speed a speed. He is wise. <laughs> uh, high speed. <laughs>
<laughs> yes, but it's true. The first people that would recommend or are alerted that there is a problem are usually the, the plastic surgeons, mm. you know, who would then uh, alert the, the, the patient or the family member and say, hey, something is very wrong. You've come for like 15 times now, you know, and you're still not satisfied. You know, perhaps there is something else because there's nothing else that I can do. So they would uh, send them over. The GPs also, where they hear, you know, the patients lament mm. and they send the, the, the patients over. Mm. Right. It's like, but, yeah. how much more do you want me to do? You know, I can't make you look like Glenn. Yeah. You want, <laughs> you want this, you want that, but you know, we, Glenn. Glenn is Glenn. You Glenn. are you. Huh? Seriously, Sorry? does anybody want your nose bridge? I don't think oh, really? Yeah, yeah. really? Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with that? That's a racist comment right there. It's beautiful. What do you say? Because, I, because I'm Chinese, I don't have a bridge. Is that what you're saying? I never said that. I just talked about your nose. Bridge. Only Sean loves your nose. Claire. I love everything about you. <laughs> Sorry. Jokes aside. Jokes but, uh, aside. But talking about plastic surgery, okay, let's let's talk about it. Let's continue when we go on Facebook. All right. Well, speaking about obsessively getting plastic yeah. surgery, you know, constantly wanting yeah. to look like your 16-year-old self if you're an older person, like, at, uh, you know, in your 30s or 40s, and just going and going until you don't look like yourself anymore. I've seen yeah. some people like that. That has a lot to do with the self-esteem. Is it a lot to do with what yes. people around them are saying as well? Oh, you look a little bit older or you don't look as young as you used to. That, that can't help, right? Angel has done her homework, yes. So <laughs> low self-esteem, you know, um, sometimes pe uh, people unwittingly become very critical or were critical at some point. And uh, just like FD's talking about Glenn's nose. So if he was susceptible, oh no, you can sit on the couch, Glenn. Then you can sit on the couch. <laughs> I'm traumatized by his comments. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but trauma events or, you know, uh, conflict, emotional issues when uh, during the childhood can also uh, cause um, the, the, the disorder to manifest itself. And that also is with fat shaming, right? Because there are a lot of, I don't know what it is about Asians and Singaporeans, they're always commenting on weight. No, but there you are know, a lot of... It's always yeah. like, oh, you look like you've put on some weight. Have you yeah. lost some weight? But, but when like... I was a kid, I mean, like in the 70s, obviously, I mean, parents, aunties, uncles, they... You but know, what they, is it they, about they, they people comment... commenting about weight? Though? I don't think it's just us, you know. I think it's a universal thing. Really? Yeah. I find I... it I find it very confusing. Yeah. Because when it's a baby and it's, baby is all fat and everything, oh, your baby's so cute, so healthy, very fat. And then when they grow up, it's like, and oh... Then, <laughs> once the kid hits seven... You're very fat. I uh, don't eat too much. You're very fat. Right? Uh, don't eat too I think much. it's awful. It's. I mean, kids growing up with that will have body issues. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. all, but not, I think not some. all. Yeah, but, some. Yeah. Some. But will. can parental comments like that lead to 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 uh, this to to BDD? Can so you have parents commenting, you have friends commenting, you have teachers yeah. commenting, and teachers don't realize how powerful their words are. But when a child is uh, d during that developmental stage, vulnerable stage, the teachers are there all the time and they are figures of authority. Mm. So then their words carry a lot of weight. So we have a lot of uh, children with um, uh, eating disorders, you know, telling us that te their teacher, their PE teacher had called them fat. Terrible. Yeah, so that eating disorder. Yeah. You know, yeah. I think mm -hmm. back in the day, it's okay. People were a little bit uh, tougher, you know. But these days, right, I think if there's nothing good to say, don't say it. I think back in the day, it was a little bit easier because once you leave school, you leave school behind, right? So the bullying kind of stops there on the school bus or whatever it is. But now mm -hmm. the bullying follows you over social media. Yeah, exactly. So, so you're so surrounded by that 24-7, you know, yeah. at home, on TV, on social media. You open your phone up, you see all these perfect lives or people maybe commenting on your photos saying you don't look great today. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, or mm -hmm. why are you wearing that? You know what I mean? Yeah. For adults as well, we go through that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah but, 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 but back then, right, if your parent or an auntie or whatever says, hey, you know, you're, you're, you're getting fat, huh? 
you know, then you start to think, okay, <laughs> la, maybe I shouldn't eat too much or I should exercise a little bit more. And that's that, you see. Yeah. That's all. Mm. Yeah. You, know, you got but, used but, to it, right? As, yeah. But as you're saying, these days with social media and all that, it's uh, it's different. It's a yeah. different ball game. Let's, let's go, go, go continue on. this on air again. Yeah. Okay. Stand by. Our guest for this morning is Dr. Geraldine Tan from the Therapy Room. And we're talking about body dysmorphic disorder. Yeah. Now, I want to go back to schools. And this is where, and Glenn knows this, I have, I have always fought to have it removed. And I'm glad we don't hear about it anymore. And I think it's been removed from schools. The Fat Club. Yes. Tough, tough oh, club. my goodness. Tough Club. La, fat tough Club. Bro. The first time it came it was out, the it, fat was club. Fat yep. club. No it was Fat Club. No way. Yes, it was. It was Fat Club. It was first named that. I remember here, there was the word fat in it. Yes. yes. They should tough. have just called it what they then called they it in it. the army when I was, uh, what? When I was at Pulau the Tekong. Obi's company. Huh? Obese, obese company, company. Gryphon company, Gryphon oh. which is the obese company. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, no, no, no. What, was, was it, it Eagle Gryph- Company? I don't know. Yeah, I wasn't. There. Not the Foxtrot. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Mr. Snuffleupagus company. <laughs> no, no but I remember, <laughs> I remember it being called the Fat Club. Fat, uh, reverse in reverse, what? Right? Yeah, Tough Club. Oh, as in half. Tough. T A F F A T. T A F F A T. It stands for Trim and Fit Club. Yeah, trim but it was just fat. It was the fat club. Then they were panning a bit. Then they just swapped it. So the other tough, yeah. not tough. Yeah. No, they called uh, it the tough. tough. I thought I thought it was tough. And oh, I was wondering yeah. why. You know? No, and and to take a kid, right? And tell me if I'm wrong, Jerry. You take a kid, and during recess, mm. before you can eat, before you do anything, I need you to run three times around the field. Before you can yes. eat. Before right re- during recess and before school and before school. So your entire school. Is watching you do this. Oh, yeah. How yeah. that's how, pinpointing. That it's is humiliating. That is emotionally destroying a child. It is. Yeah. It is. Yep. It's pinpointing and saying you belong in the fat club because essentially it is Taff spelled backwards, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> should, they should have called should it have the, big show, no? the big show. The big show. We can save that for another. No, but show all itself. this. All, all what all I'm trying same. to say is all this leads mm. in my mind to body. Dysmorphic disorder. Yeah, it's traumatic. Well, it can be a contributing factor, but the difference between the eating disorder is the eating disorder uh, patient focuses on the entire body, focuses on the weight, you mm. know, losing the weight and exercising compulsively, uh, calorie counting. You have the BDD patients actually focusing on one specific part oh, of the right. body. Okay, okay. So, so I don't like my ears. Yes, okay. yes. So some people say, oh, my ears are too low or too high or too flat or too, you know, um, they're sticking out. Yeah, like yeah, these so ears. Uh, MD has got the biggest ears in the whole of Singapore. <laughs> yep, that's why he can hear the best. I believe he can hear I you can without fly. your mic. Or <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Yeah, that's MD not wouldn't fun. be who he is today without his big ears. That's true. Yes. And his big yes. nose. That's true. All the more to hear you with, my and dear. And I smell a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay. dear, we're shaming now. No. <laughs> we're ear shaming. No. <laughs> no, that's why I trust trust you guys to really take a topic and really make it like you know so palatable to everyone. Thank you I so much. So. <laughs> well, we try, la. We try, la, Jerry. So, so uh, someone yes. who suffers from BDD, it's it's yes. it's one part of the body, or can they just really dislike the way they look overall? So hmm. they dislike a part that uh, how it looks like. So sometimes it's, oh, my skin is too splotchy Mm -hmm. and they just obsess over it. It can be about, oh, my hair is dropping and actually, no, it's not dropping, but they will search for evidence to indicate that. Um, I had one of the boys who was looking at his nose and he was like, oh no, my nose is just crooked. No, his nose wasn't crooked at all. No matter how we look, right? Mm. No matter how we measured it. And he would literally take a ruler and measure his nose and, and, you know, look at how it is in the mirror. So you're saying that they're seeing something that nobody else is? Yeah. So it can be a perceived uh, obsession or imperfection in the body. Yeah. And... uh, some people, they, they, you know, we have veins. Yep. So they look at the veins and go, oh, it's protruding. 
or it's not protruding depending on what mm-hmm. they want here yeah? mm-hmm. so depending on what they want then they they can exercise so if you want yeah. the vein protrusion then you do more exercise so yes. excessive Exercise. Like the bodybuilders, I'm not. I'm not saying yeah, I'm a bodybuilder, yeah, yeah. but you know the bodybuilders <laughs> have their veins yeah. protruding yeah. and all that, right? Mm. And and you're mm. talking about that person who sees his nose, you know, as being crooked and all. You know, yes. If I were his friend, I'll go like, "You look like Owen Wilson." Oh dear, no! Oh, <laughs> Owen Wilson is so yeah, it's cool. Like crooked uh, nose, crooked nose, He's but you know, cr- you he gets like... all the women. That's that is true. Yeah. That is true. How about that? <laughs> so, okay. Jerry, yeah. uh, with parents <laughs> listening to us now, yes, what do they need to look out for? Because I'm sure in younger kids, right, they yep. keep these kind of worries from their parents, don't they? Yes, yes, yeah. And is it sometimes it can get quite. Um, embarrassing like why do i ruminate over it why am i thinking about it uh, but it consumes them the thoughts actually are quite consuming very draining and it is very negative mm-hmm. you know so uh we don't see it so much in younger children so the teens we do see mm-hmm. the uh uh the late teens the young adults we do see mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. So I was and- reading. Ab- sorry, I was reading about this uh, before we jumped on, and the numbers are quite shocking because up to eighty percent of people with body dysmorphic disorder have suicidal thoughts, and up to twenty five percent of them actually commit suicide. So that's a quarter. That's one in four people who suffer from BDD. So that's a really high number. How do people spot BDD as opposed to? just a phase for well, parents if, if they are obsessing over it right if they are uh, constantly kind of like picking on it if they're looking in the mirror all the time so the the boy that i was t- talking about he's he was so distraught with his nose he refused to go to school Oh, wow. He refused. Yeah, so you have that uh, social withdrawal. Um, he doesn't want to take photos. You know, um, he. What, what did his mom say? You know, he was standing in front of the mirror for hours and hours and hours, and no matter how many doctors she brought him to, he just would not see himself as good looking or that it is okay so not even good looking he's a good looking chap but he doesn't even see himself as good looking much less you know that that whole nose he was just Mm. focused on that Mm. Uh, we do just need to stand corrected there's a teacher Uh, apparently it was always the the taff club and not the fat club Uh, Uh, but it was taff spelt backwards fat spelt backwards (laughs) Uh, he said he was a school teacher and was in charge of the of that program right okay he he doesn't comment on what he thought of the program but he does say that he was in charge of it Uh, good thing Sean got scolding this was you you brought it up it was actually me yeah yeah. Sean (laughs) so Uh, Kenneth it was actually FD it was actually me not not I think you need to say sorry to Sean but I remembered it as well I remembered yeah. it. Maybe because of the way it's spelled. Maybe it's the way it's spelled. Yeah. But Frida, Frida says, my daughter tells me that she doesn't like her chest area. And I told her, you'll thank me when you grow up. <laughs> <laughs> so what does, what Frida does, is a, so cool. What does a parent Frida. do, uh, Jerry? I mean, if a, if a kid is like that, how do you make them feel better about themselves without, yeah. say, without you revealing your trade secrets or a parent having to take their child to therapy? How can one help their kid at home? Okay, shall we do a little quiz? Yes, it's just please. Okay. I love games. Okay. Oh, somebody yeah. says uh, Angel looks so cute with her white singlet. My dungarees. White singlet. <laughs> My white singlet. I'm wearing more than a singlet, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so this person is just trying to say next time just wear a singlet. Oh. <laughs> okay, Jerry, quiz time. Yes, yes. Four questions. Okay. Okay, so everyone listening in can do, okay? Okay. So this was developed. It's called a BDD questionnaire. Just four questions. Are you worried about how you look? You know, for example, your areas of concern can include your skin, like acne, scars, wrinkle, paleness, redness, your hair, the shape of your size of your nose, mouth, jaw, lip, stomach, hips, etc. Defects of your hands, genitals, breasts and any other body part so waistline if, yes 
<laughs> yes. So you just have to answer yes or no. Okay. Okay. So, so that was the first the one, first right? Mm. Part of the first question. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes for me. Okay. If yes, do you think about your appearance uh, problems a lot and wish you could think about them less? Is that good? So <laughs> no. Thoughts, yeah. No. Okay. So if you answered no to either of the questions, you are finished with this questionnaire. Otherwise, we will continue. Oh, Second yeah. question: Is your main concern with how you look uh, that you aren't? Thin enough, or that you might get too fat? Yes or no? Yes. Mm-hmm. No, <laughs> no. Yes for me. That I might get too fat if so I. So far, all yes. Okay. Yeah. Too okay. No. But I'm done for the first for one. For you, you or him? Me. You really? Yes. Wait, you see, yeah. you must listen to Jerry. I know. So you know, we said yes first, and after that, no. So that's settled already. For those who said so, no, la. Yeah, la, yeah but he said yes so all the way. Still huh? yeah. He's still yes, saying yes. 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 Oh oh. See, he's trying to still get on your couch, Jerry. <laughs> that's all it is. No, keep keep going, Jerry, because these Glenn. questions are good. Glenn was the one, not not Sean. Oh, not Sean. Yeah, Glenn, Sean, right. keep yeah, quiet. Yeah, in, yeah. His, in his head, is saying okay. yes, yes, yes. You must yes. say it out loud. That that question. Okay. That question. Okay, okay is four parts to this third question. How has this problem with how you look affected your life? Has it often upset you a lot? Yes or no? No. No. Second part. Has it often gotten in the way of doing things with friends, dating, your relationships with people, or your social activities? Yes or no? No. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's oh. so like you know, cool. I'm really <laughs> comfortable with myself now. Yeah. Not before, but now. <laughs> okay, very good. Let's follow Angel. <laughs> okay, so that's that it, part. huh? Okay, okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Glenn's ADHD popping up now. Yes, Listen. Uh, <laughs> very, very closely. <laughs> Has it caused you any problems with school, work, or other activities? Yes or no? No. No. Are there any things you avoid because of how you look? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Chakui okay. tiao usually. Chakui tiao laksa. <laughs> no. Sometimes wearing a swimsuit depending on how I feel that day. So yes. <laughs> okay. That's the third question. The last question. The fourth question. On an average day, how much time do you usually spend thinking about how you look? Wow. <laughs> Okay, add up all the time you spend in total in a day. Okay, so this is select A, B, C. A, less than one hour a day. B, one to three hours a day. C, more than three hours a day. Yes, it would be A. A for me. Hardly, actually. Most of the time, I'm just Mm. thinking about working out. And how much I'm I'm not working out enough. That's that's uh, mm, that's okay. what I think about. Yeah, for me, like mm. l- l- looking at myself and all that would just be in the morning when I'm doing my makeup. That's it. Okay, that's wow. Other, yeah, doing makeup and then cleaning your face. I mean, it doesn't take that long. So mm. that's it. I mean, I'm not so, see, standing I think that's, in front that's of That's what mirror. Angel and myself have in common. We love ourselves. <laughs> mm. That's the oh, thing. I can tell. But oh. I I tend to I tend to think that loving yourself is becoming a rarity these days. That's true. Okay, wait, uh, we go yeah. back on air. We finish this. FD standby one traffic. Sean Mendes. Sean Mendes. <laughs> Mercy. <laughs> traffic. The AYE towards the MCE, an accident before Jurong Town Hall exit, avoid lane 2. KPE towards the ECP, a vehicle broken down before the PIE twice exit. Uh, Usual delays across the expressways, we do know that. PIE towards twice, we have a vehicle broken down after Topayo exit, avoid lane 4. Woodlands Avenue 2 towards the SLE, an accident after Woodlands Avenue 1. Avoid the left lane. Stay within the speed limit. Have everyone buckled up. Be safe as you drive today. Good morning, Singapore. You're tuned in to The Big Show. Glenn Angel, FD and Sean. I want to say a big hello to Debster, Deborah, Debbie Ong, who's tuned in right now. Oh, hey, Debbie. Debbie, I've got your mug. (laughs) <laughs> Almost ready for you, okay? Because I mean, when when I kind of posted our mugs and and our decals, everyone last, wanted it. Everyone wanted one, so uh, yeah, I got you one, uh, Debster. I'm gonna collect them 
well, the whole batch uh, very soon. And I just want to say that I'm going to give one to you as well, Frida, one to you, David, one to you, uh, 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 Munish as well. And uh, for the rest of you, maybe next batch. Lah. <laughs> okay. You'll just have to wait. Yeah. Yeah, we've got T-shirts as well this time around. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's gonna be. Pretty I amazing. also want to say that we're on uh, Instagram now as well. Although we haven't put anything up yet, <laughs> if you'd like to follow us, you can follow us at the Big Show One FM. Okay, that's that's. Um, I mean, you've got to spell Social. out everything. Yeah, yeah. the okay. Big Show One FM. The Big Show <laughs> One FM. You know, Jerry, I was listening to those questions, right? So first question, I answered yes, and then no. Yep. And then I followed then you you're through. Safe. Your last question. I was yes, yeah. yes, yes. Last oh. question. The the four part one. The, uh, the four part yeah. one. I was yes, so yes, yes. B question. That's oh. the third question. Third question. Sorry. The, the, yes, yes, yes. B. That means he needs a therapist. The third and then the fourth. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. B. Mm. Okay. Oh. What were the questions again? For the third. So, part? the third. Has it often uh, upset you a lot? So the problem of how you look affected your life. Has it often upset you a lot? Has it gotten in the way of you doing things with friends, dating relationships or social activity? Cause you any problem with school, work or other activities? Are there things that you avoid because of how you look? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yes, yes, yes. What, now or oh, before? Yeah. Now. Oh, now. really? Wow. Now. Okay. okay. But That's very interesting. Question. Yeah, but the, but the first, first question. question already uh, saved you. That means you are exempted from answering all the other questions. Oh. I've got to say that because I answered yes to three of those four, mm. I don't feel comfortable now. Hey, right, you feel like you have a he's, problem now. Oh, he's dear. trying to squeeze into your office, you know? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just telling you where I'm at. Oh, it's, it's lowered his self-esteem. Oh. I have to put it out there that any rating scale and any survey that you do, especially if you're going to pull it off the internet. So things like these are screening tools. Yeah. They are not diagnostic yeah. tools. Yeah. So please do not take it as gospel truth. Yeah, yeah. It is yeah. a very important point that FD you brought up because a lot of people get panicky yeah. over whatever that they read on the internet and then they start fretting mm. about it mm. when there's nothing to fret. Yeah. So don't panic, yeah. FD. Yeah. You're fine. Yes. No, no, I know yeah. I'm fine. It's just that I, 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 as I heard the questions, yeah. I was answering it honestly. And right. those are anxious. things that I know. Those yeah. are things that I actually felt. Yeah. And yes. a lot of people as well. And to- a lot of people would feel that, FD, but they don't answer a yes and no on the first question. So that's why, you know, only when you answer and you get past the first question and you continue to yeah. answer the rest of the questions, that it is indicative of an issue. Mm, mm. Otherwise, it's not. Right. Yeah. Right. Sean answered a yes and yes on the first go, correct? Yeah, the first three. three. The first three he answered yes. So does mm-hmm. he have a problem? He might not have a problem. <laughs> He's just really particular of how he looks and yeah. he takes care of himself very well and that's why he can do his podcast ah yay you're fine so i like to think of him as uh our don juan de marco (laughs) you don't know don juan de marco come on don juan de marco (laughs) no not donnie darko the lady killer yeah well not killer no that would be uh jack the ripper sorry (laughs) i mean when i mean lady killer i mean emotional lady killer ladies ladies man man, yes yes my name is johnny bravo different like Rico Suave <laughs> Rico Suave did you hear what he just said Johnny Bravo That's, isn't that a cartoon, cartoon? Yes. yeah he's a big guy he's a big muscular, he's a big muscular. Who are, who? No, but it's not real <laughs> he thinks he Don thinks Juan he... DeMarco is real, real yeah. oh real <laughs> As real as it gets. <laughs> I was going to do my research. Uh, I'm going to make FD feel a little bit better. So just now we talk about genitalia. Yeah. So some people... What? <laughs> what? That just sounded all wrong. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to make me feel better. We're going to talk about genitalia. Yeah, 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 we're going to make genitalia. feel better right now by talking about his genitalia. <laughs> okay, let's talk of about course. Let's talk about that, Jerry. <laughs> Life on air. No, just to remind everybody right now. Yeah, for 20 years, he's been going on air, you know, trying to... Hear, <laughs> trying to talk about his genitalia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Try to make me feel I've got, inadequate. I've got I'm like, ADHD tendencies. <laughs> Sorry, my my brain sometimes speaks faster than my mouth. <laughs> Just to tell you, Jerry, you are blushing at this point. 
<laughs> we okay. all are. Let's speak about oh, FD's no. genitalia. Yes. Oh, yeah. Scientifically, of course. Watch this back and then go, oh my God, what, what did, did I, I do? <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, the first question and part right. of that whole first question, right, right. is well, the areas of concern yeah. and one of which is genitalia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, FD did not talk about genitalia. Glenn no. <laughs> is in pain. Well, that is because I've seen it. You see, oh, what? <laughs> what have you seen? Oh no, oh they've God. seen a lot of things. Together. We're we're yeah, gonna yeah. start getting phone calls we soon. Bunk together, you know, all these. Years. Anyway, moving on, Jerry. What did you want to say? I think we better play a song now. <laughs> Play a song, play a song, real quick, let's play a song. Really? Yeah. Yes. Let's just say all these things live on the radio. Okay, okay. Let's play that thing. All right, we continue this discussion live on Facebook. Uh, just before we go any further, Chris Henson takes uh, issue with, hey, Glenn's, Chris. Oh. with Glenn's comment about Johnny Bravo. Chris Henson says, I am Johnny Bravo. Oh. <laughs> That's why I say yes. Oh, no, Morning, no, no. Chris. Morning, bro. Uh, no, I wanted to make you feel better by, you know, not... <laughs> talking about genitalia but you know that some people have that that uh, severity of the disorder mm. where even it affects their genitalia where oh they God. look at they actually take photos of their genitalia what? and say it, it looks ugly Aww. and they want yeah they want um the the plastic surgeon <gasps> to kind of do it up so that it looks pretty mm. yeah mm. or it looks right like what yeah. they see on so, so, videos. <laughs> so this is this is why you have. No, no, no! You don't have... go Google it now. <laughs> no, no, this is, no, this is why there are implants. Yes, there yes. are implants, and for women as well. Yes, there is plastic yeah. surgery, no. and it's ridiculous. Okay. There, there is plastic surgery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's terribly ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Yes. No, don't worry, yeah. Jerry. I, I don't feel bad about myself. It was just <laughs> interesting that I came up with those answers. <laughs> and your, and 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 how you felt. How I felt. Yeah. As soon as you yeah. answered it. Yeah. yeah. It you felt just, a bit it was, anxious. It was very interesting. Mm. Mm. Yep. 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 But we have then to go with the symptoms. So that yeah. skin picking again, you know. Constantly asking for reassurance, looking at the mirror, you know, very self-conscious, reclusing yourself, yeah. going to the dermatologist, going to the plastic surgeons. Um, going so to your numb hair care. <laughs> yeah, speaking of which, uh, some people who are who are who may think that they are balding, you know, they get they get very very traumatized. Especially well. men, I think. I think I, it happens yeah. a lot with men. Yeah. I I was yes, uh, I was in a very bad a place problem. when I started to lose my hair. Yeah, mm. but you're not what? No, but I'm you very okay? thin, very thin on. Ah, yeah, we all as we grow older. Yeah, yeah, but, sure. I, but I went I went into a really bad place. Yeah, yeah. 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 you yeah. felt really, really awful about really yourself. Really awful, really awful. So Jerry, yeah. Jerry, for all those people yeah. who yeah. are kind of uh, you know maybe losing their hair and all that, any words of you know. Uh, I mean, there's nothing wrong in wanting to look good, right? So all of us want to look good. Yeah. So there are, you know, different treatment centers like Yunnan you know, Hair Care and all the mm. uh, uh, facials and things like that just to help us to perk us up a little bit. Yeah. But when it tips over, then uh, and it you kind of know that you're at risk because you have depression, anxiety, eating disorders, you know, and you, you're you obsessing. So just now we talked about all the different uh, signs and symptoms. Please go and see a doctor. So you go and see a GP first if yeah. you're very uncomfortable, you know, popping into a psychiatrist's office or, or, or a psychologist's office, you know, um, go to, to a GP. You know, your family GP would be able to reassure you and then direct you to the right people. Medication sometimes is warranted because of the obsessiveness mm. and the, the intensity of it. Uh, a family therapy sometimes is very helpful because they tend to get the, the environment involved also. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. But and also then, think about all the bald uh, superstars like Jason Statham and The Rock. And, <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. 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 It's okay. I mean, these days it's quite fashionable. But, but, mm -hmm. but Jerry, if we have a member of our family, whether it be child or partner, who we feel has uh, uh, BDD, how do, how do we help them through that journey? I think the first thing is not to engage in their behaviors. 
you know, so the checking behavior, you know, the reassurance. Um, I think we, if we keep feeding that, in they they just keep needing more of it, mm. right? They keep needing more reassurance, you know, and we can draw a boundary for them. And most of the time, they know that um, they are aware. So. Uh, uh, a large number of them, some have no insight, okay? So those that have no insight will be the ones that have big quarrels with you and, you know, I think get them to a doctor, the, let the professional speak with them. In any case, they would want to seek professional uh, assistance. Um, let the doctor know what your concerns are. Okay, mm. so then the, the professional can take over from there. Uh, those that have insight, you know, encourage them because they often feel very embarrassed about their worries, okay, because they're obsessing about it. They feel very ashamed by it, you know, ashamed for thinking about it, ashamed of how they look because they typically think they look very ugly. And it's very irrational. So there was one that thought her, toes looked ugly so every leaf she would go and correct her toes mm. and straighten the toes now, yeah you're, um, earlier you were talking about balding and all yeah. that does aging cause an onset of bdd uh interestingly they as as we grow older we get a bit more comfortable in our own skin so i love you know how glenn and angel today were just showcasing that example i really enjoy that so all the teens should watch this segment no, no, but I'm talking, <laughs> i walk around half naked all over my no, but i'm talking about older older you know like when wrinkles start to come and you start losing your hair and yeah. you know things start to sag you know your your skin doesn't bounce back as quickly as no. No disrespect. Are you talking about MB, la? No. <laughs> Oh, my, my, yeah. my skin has, has forgotten how to bounce yeah. completely. Uh, it's like if you push him, just, he'll stay that way. I no? stay <laughs> that way, yeah. You hey, blow on me and I go... And actually, go. Yeah, FD looks very good for his age. He I does, absolutely. Even and his spirit, so, you know, his spirit, you know, is so young. It is. But that's something I work very hard at. Mm. I do. Mm. Oh, I do. Well, it is not hard, easy. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, does, does aging, you know, aging when your looks start to go... Does that can that cause an onset of BDD? Your mic is your off. mic is oh. muted. And by the way, your we're not talking about FD here because it still looks like Richard Gere. Huh? <laughs> okay, okay. So I know, I know. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Um, we was we were saying that right, but if you think about it, the older ones um have more experience in life. And they have more confidence in different areas. So the focus might not be only on the looks itself because they have more uh, abilities, more skills that they can tap on. And by that time, would have developed quite a good uh, support network already. Yeah. So they might have they might develop BDD, but the more vulnerable population would be the younger population. Okay, mm. we so not this obsessive. On air. When I come okay. back, I've got a question for okay. Jerry. Okay. Uh, yeah, anyway, sure. What's so, oh, Richard oh, Gear. There, there, there. Look at that. Ooh, Richard Gear. If you're not watching oh, this look on Facebook, that. Richard Gear is with us this morning. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Join us on <laughs> Facebook. Thank you that very much. Looks like the Madam Tussauds version of Richard Gear. <laughs> No, but Jerry, here's the question. I want to go back to the teens because you've said the older, the older ones, they have a way to deal with it. But the yep. teens, you're saying support them being, you know, that, that sort of thing. But we yep. know that a lot of teens today are very skeptical. They're going to turn around and say, mom and dad are saying this because they know I have this condition. They're trying to make me feel better. Mm. How do we mm. get around that? Social support, so you have that because they would gather evidence, right? Yeah. So they would gather evidence from the environment also. So it's very helpful where they have social support. They have an opportunity to develop other areas rather than looking at one specific area. Mm. Um, yeah, but the disorder is a disorder. It consumes you. Mm. You know, you're, mm. a disorder means that you are ill with that disorder. So that's why it's important to have the, the, uh, the child brought or the teen brought to the doctor as soon as possible. Hmm. And, mm. and what happens during, I, I know that you can't share your trade secrets and all that, but is it mainly yep. therapy or do you medicate as well for situations like that? Yep. 
So if it's very severe, we do. So the obsessiveness, the compulsiveness, if they're picking on it, if they're, you know, um, it's, it's too frequent and too intense, then we have to medicate. Mm. Yeah, if not, then it would be psychotherapy, it would be cognitive behavioral therapy. Yeah. Wow. Two okay. Panadol mm. extras. Because, <laughs> yeah. so you know, when you're in pain. Uh, it is for him. So it's almost like OCD. It sounds a lot like OCD, like you were saying, it's right after OCD in your book, right? Yes. So it's, it's similar to OCD, uh, but they, it's not OCD. It mm. is a disorder by itself. But there are times that in other parts of our manual, there is body dysmorphic-like disorder with actual flaws that means there are actual flaws um and oh, then right, we, okay. we can we do notice it uh the other one would be body dysmorphic like disorder without the repetitive behavior so it's you you have the obsession but no repetitive behavior mm. so quite a few different types then yes my goodness, okay. You yes. know, Salil Kumar says when older guys go through, you know, these phases, uh, we are going through what is known as male menopause. Actually, male Is that true? It is a thing. Andropause. <laughs> no, male 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 menopause is andropause. It's is it it's called andropause, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, so is it true? So the male 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 menopause occurs, you know, over a period of time, you know, and it's not just during one specific period only. Mm. Yeah, so the, the hair loss was progressive, you know, the uh, energy depletion would be uh, over time, yeah. So it's also so, for when women go through their menopause is around the same age? Uh, men earlier, but slower. Right, women okay. more, yeah. More intense. Uh, more intense mm. and, and steeper, yeah. Right, okay. Mm. okay. Oh, mm. see. Andropause. Andropause, yeah, mm. it's called andropause. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. One, one, one last question. Uh, Christopher Henson, what's wrong with people who scratch parts of their genitals? Oh, no. Do what? we have a problem? This is Chris Henson for you. Do Actually, I don't have... usually read comments, and this is the reason why I was banned from reading comments. Yeah, because, <laughs> because you pick because... all the We all saw that comment. No, nobody brought it up because it's Chris Henson. Okay, I'll switch, off my, I'll switch off my phone. If yeah. you need to see a doctor. Yeah, you might have a okay, problem. So, so Hanson, yeah. that was uncalled for. And it's not, and it's not BDD. <laughs> we're on a public platform here. Right? And you ask That's questions terrible. Like that. yeah. yeah, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> delete that comment off our Facebook. <laughs> no, I'll no, never delete anything. Okay, yeah. Uh, Jerry doesn't need to answer that question. Yeah, yes. no. okay. okay. Up next, Adam Lambert. What do you want from me on One FM ninety one point three? You're on the big show. Jerry, is it possible? And this just jumped into my head. For yes. a teen to suffer mm. from BDD, but not know it. Yes, yes, it is possible. But the manifestation of the behavior then is noticeable to the people around the, uh, around the teen. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if the teen is constantly asking the friends, oh, how, how does my skin look? You know, mm. uh, going home and asking the same question, you know, obsessing over it, uh, looking into the mirror, checking like countless of times every time the class ends, you know, uh, runs to the toilet to check mm. or, you know, mm. holding a mirror with him or her yeah so it's um uh, noticeable it's noticeable but they may not know that they're suffering from bdd yes yes someone yes. else will notice wow. it okay yeah yep. wow yeah okay. Oh, mm. okay it is possible so that's why the family needs to be involved also because mm. it affects the environment mm. okay mm. so this is a yeah. psychological yeah. problem so you know you can't <clears throat> ask someone like that to go and see a gp uh, they've got to either go see a psychologist or a psychiatrist right Yep, yep. But yep. I suppose it starts with GB first because you always want to think it's not as serious as to go to mm. a psychologist, mm. yeah. you know, mm. a therapist. Because once you go to therapy, I mean, there's this whole, I feel, mindset that mm. you have a problem. Mm. Yep. But if yep. you go to a GP, then okay, you know, he's going to give you a couple of Panadols and you're done. But would a, would a GP, yeah, exactly. I you mean, know, would a GP simple. actually refer, uh, yes. you know, a patient like that to someone like you? 
country. Yes, so a lot of GPs now, uh, those that we work with, are very informed of different disorders. Okay. So they are alert that this is not a medical condition. And when it's not a medical condition, they would refer it on to either uh, ourselves as psychologists or uh, psychiatrists. Okay. I think all GPs should be well informed in that sense, you know, just to know what the symptoms are of basic uh disorders mm. so that they know mm. how to pass it on to the right yeah. people right yeah. yeah i know i know that that the gp i go to uh whenever whenever it's something that he knows uh is a little too deep for him to handle he does not hesitate to to recommend, recommend. Okay. and he's got a whole mm. list of that's people. good yeah. that's good and different types of different uh, for different things yeah Experts, yeah, that's, yeah good. that's good. I think that's really, really that's important. Very, good. Mm. very, very important. So, anything else we want to ask, uh, Jerry, uh, with regard to anything body dys- dysmorphic disorder? No, I think we've covered just about everything. Sean, are you okay, Sean? Yeah. You sure. You yes. need help? <laughs> anything? We sa- you can you can say it now. Uh, no, no, no. I'm good, 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 good. Jerry, what would you say? What would you say to someone who has BDD or someone who's got a member of the family who's dealing with BDD now. What would you say? To okay, them? so I chose Jeffrey Chaucer for today and three of his quotes. I'm going to link them. Time and tide waits for no men. Mm. People can die of mere imagination. Mm. And the greatest scholars are u- not usually the wisest people. And I love the last one because it really makes you think about perfection and imperfection. Mm, love love it. it. Well done. Love it. Well nice done. Amazing, amazing. I just want to say this, okay? You're beautiful, Jerry. Aww, and you're you beautiful, Sean. Sean. Thank you so much. You're beautiful, Angel. Thank you. You're okay, Evie. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you're beautiful, Evie. You and I are beautiful. You yes. with your nose, me with my ears. Ah, perfect. you're the perfect, perfect. man. <laughs> And we've seen each other without our shirts on. Oh, dear. Still scares me a little bit. (laughs) Thank you so much, Jerry, for joining us. Glad to be on again. Uh, One of them fans love you, so we really appreciate you coming on every Tuesday. Oh, thank you, all the fans. Yay, I'm glad you enjoy it. Let me know topics that you want to talk about. And then we can deal with them on air awesome. without um, yeah, getting into another boo-boo again like today. So. <laughs> without genitalia? <laughs> Did you hear that, 1FM fans? No, not the genitalia part, but, but Jerry asking you to, to let her in or let her know what you would like if to If there's anything about, in right? specific that yeah. you're burning to find out about. Yeah, yeah. Mm. just let us know. All right, thank you, Jerry. Thanks, Have Jerry. a wonderful week ahead. Um, today, by the way, is the 12th day of the Lunar New oh, Year. Ah. It this is, coming yeah. Friday. Will be the last one. Yeah. Mm. So let's have Chuck more Yushong, right? everybody. Yay. Yay. I need my first one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye, Jerry. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.